run. Oh, he's flirting with me. Oh. About seeing me in my tiny shorts. Met up with said boy. I had better game when I was 15, 16. Ooh, ooh, exciting, exciting. Hello and welcome back to the story time sofa. It's actually a bed but we'll just go with it. Hi, I'm Misha Grimes and hi, yeah, I don't really have much more to say but Today's story time is one that I have kind of teased, but I haven't told you guys yet. And it is my side chick or side B I T C H story time. So, this is actually from when I was doing my mock GCSEs. So this is literally from when I was like 15, maybe 16, but I'm pretty sure I would have been 15 because I feel like you did your mocks in the November before your GCSEs in the summer and my birthday's in February and I did my GCSEs when I was 16, so I would have been 15. But yes, this is a story time about being the side chick because I'm sure in our lives either we have been without knowing aka my situation or i have known i hope not because i feel like i hope no one would do that to someone else um but you never know um or it's gonna happen in your life i feel like it just it's about the ghosting it has to happen in your life um because you know you learn and i feel like mine wasn't even like that major considering i was quite young um so maybe i've got that coming in the future again yay go me but anyway so this is when i was probably about 15 um and i feel like at that age i don't know why but i just seem to like not text boys because i was never like a boy texter like i never had like a different guy every week but i just feel like you spoke to guys a lot more than I do now. I feel like I had better game when I was 15, 16 than I do now when I'm blooming 20 years old. Well, on Tuesday I'm 20 years old. So, yes, I don't even know how said person got my number or did they start Snapchatting me or I don't understand because they were quite a bit older. Like, I feel like they were probably about 17 maybe older i feel like maybe they were 17 i don't know how i came into contact with them because i don't think we really used instagram that much back then like i know i had instagram but i don't really know if guys would slide into your dms because i don't know i just don't feel like that was a thing back then this is circa what are we in now 2020 and that was five years ago 2015 blooming nora that's a throwback so said male is actually beginning with a g not a j i know this one person that didn't fit the mold of the j stereotype if you didn't know me and j we have a thing for some reason i always go for guys beginning with j and it never ends well love that for me so i probably should have realized that g is quite close to j and it just wasn't a good idea but of course i did not so they were an older boy so obviously that's ooh, ooh, exciting exciting um i remember that i was speaking to them far too much and wasn't revising enough for my mocks um or it could have even been my actual gcse's i honestly cannot remember um but I just remember that it was like constant texting. I feel like that's a thing when you're younger, you just constantly text someone, like literally constant. And it's a bit ridiculous because like you couldn't do that now because as like an adult, like you've got, I mean, I'm not an adult, I'm, I'm very much still a child, but you've actually got to do stuff with your day and get work done. Um, so yeah, I obviously was doing no revisions and just messaging said boy. Said boy actually worked somewhere near my house so i don't know if that's how they knew i just knew their face very bizarre very bizarre sorry i'm still very phlegmy and very snotty which is lovely not um so we were talking all the time now i sadly don't have the screenshots this time maybe if i tried like ridiculously hard to find my old phone um i could find them but i feel like my old phone just won't even turn on now it's a bit of a joke um so <clears throat> we had been texting for i don't even know what period of time i feel like it probably felt like ages when it was probably about a week knowing young time frames so yeah 
chitter chatter and there is a few messages that like stick in my brain i don't even know why but they were obviously very flirty i you wouldn't really be texting someone that much if there wasn't like an inkling of something like i think in my mind i thought me and said boy were going to like go on a date because i think he did say about going on a date um but we obviously hadn't spoken for that long for him to actually make it a thing so i never had any like red flags i never even thought about it i feel like at that age you don't ever consider that someone would maybe have something else with somebody else um it just wasn't even in the forefront of my mind i was just taking him on face value um and like i didn't really know him i didn't really know anyone that knew him um or so i thought so yeah I went to school in a like, completely different place to where I lived. It was like half an hour. Um, so no one from my school knew who he was either, apart from one said person, which I found out later on. So we were texting and he was saying something really, now I look back on it, I'm realizing it's very creepy. But back then it was like, oh, he's flirting with me. Oh, he likes me. I wish I could go and find the conversation and lol back at like 2015 Misha's flirting because it's probably better then than it was now because yeah, my track record isn't brilliant. Anyway, so um, I remember I had these like blue gym shorts that I must have like worn to the gym or posted on a Snapchat or posted on an Instagram story. And 15 year old Misha was um, a short, short sort of gal. Yeah. So these were gym shorts that basically were knickers. They were literal knickers. I probably still own them and I put them in my knicker drawer now because they are so itty bitty. They are from American Apparel. I had a matching blue sports bra and um, I was very much at that age, that person that like worked out in like barely any clothes because I was like, I don't give a shoot. S-H-I-T. Um, so I think he made some comment about him... At, Something about like us going on i think ah oh, it's meant to do a sport it was something like he played squash or something and he wanted me to come and play squash with him and wear my little shorts which is very very creepy and if a boy is saying that to you run i feel like i said it with a lot of things there's a lot of running involved but what can we do so yeah they said something about me and these shorts but i feel like at the age of 15 dating wasn't really a thing in my mind like it was more like you met up with someone which is a bit bizarre because you wouldn't just like meet someone on tinder i don't think and then like just go to their house i mean i don't have tinder so i wouldn't know but like do you do that what if they're a murderer what happens then uh, but i feel like back then you just used to like meet up with each other you didn't used to go like on dates i might be wrong maybe i was just an underprivileged dating list child so yes i obviously had told my best friend and my whole friendship group about said person they'd stalked him on instagram and like he had quite a cool instagram at that point i think he'd just been away on holly bobs he had some like cool photos and young misha thought he was very good looking um and then one of my other friends who was like kind of outside of the friendship group but actually lived nearer to me caught on to what we were talking about and who we were talking about because she knew said person and she knew that said person had a girlfriend and i was like what like what they have a girlfriend like it didn't even come into my mind that would even be a thing i was just like omg what the hell and then the storyline thickened and i was like but he's been messaging me and he's been saying about meeting up and he's been doing this and he's been doing that why would he do all of that when he has a girlfriend what the hell i feel like i didn't really want to believe it not that i even had that much of an emotional connection to this boy but probably 15 year old misha was you know I don't even know. I was an interesting young one, and I still am an interesting adultish one. So, she then said that she knew all of this because her friend that she knew met up with said boy 
and went to his house and this was a different person not his girlfriend and then I think they may have I don't know if they kissed but yeah he'd previously been speaking to this other girl and she actually gone around his house when he had a girlfriend and then everything starts to make a bit more sense you know those red flags I always talk about that you just ignore when you're not trying to notice them so when we were texting obviously we were texting like 24 7 and then he would like disappear for like an evening and then text me again when it was really late and he wouldn't have known what was the last message that was sent by like me he was like oh sorry what were we talking about and it's like well if you scroll up you you'd see like what I don't know what I put that down to at the time, but now it makes me realize that he was disappearing because he was with said girlfriend, who I think he'd been with for quite a while, and said trip from his Instagram was with said girlfriend, but I'd stalked him and I didn't see anything. And somehow I didn't stalk his tagged photos when I was speaking to him. I then obviously stalked his tagged photos and saw this said girl had posted a photo of him. But you could have just assumed they were friends, to be fair. Um, so it also made sense as to why he couldn't remember what we were last speaking about because he would obviously delete the text messages when his girlfriend came round because she he didn't want her to see them. So, yeah. I was now in this predicament and I was like, oh, okay then. Um, and I, of course, being Misha, I may have been a young, naive child, but I was still very confrontational at that age. And if I had a problem, I made it heard. So I messaged him and I was like, oh, oh my God, no way. I think we were talking about going to the same festival. We were talking about going to a festival together. I remember. So we were saying that we were, he was going to take me to this festival. So then I messaged him about said festival and I was like, oh, so you're going to bring your girlfriend with you as well? And he was like, ha ha ha, yeah, I will. Or ha ha, no, I'll leave her at home, I think it was. And I was like, so when were you going to say that you had a girlfriend or something like that? And he was just basically like, yeah, so I have one, I'm not doing anything wrong. Mate, you've just been texting me for however long about seeing me in my tiny shorts. I think we have a problem. So I don't actually know what our last conversation was. I still actually have his contact number in my phone, um, which makes me giggle um, because imagine if I just messaged him. I remember just texted him like, hi, blast from the past. So then I was obviously in the predicament of, I've been messaging this boy and he's got a girlfriend. Now, I don't know why I didn't message the girl, but I just didn't. I just didn't. And I've watched so many people talk about this as like a problem of whether you should message the girl or you shouldn't message the girl. And I get it from both arguments, but I don't know why I never did. Like, I don't remember actually thinking about it. I think I probably at the time thought, well, we never actually met up. We never did anything wrong. If there was going to be anyone to tell the girlfriend, it should have been that girl that met up with him and went to his house. But, I mean, ultimately, I really should have. Um, but it's not as if, like, I can text the girl now and be like, oh, by the way, flip in, like, five years ago, your boyfriend, who you're still with now, yeah, I stalked him on Instagram, they're still together, who you're still with now, Bloomin' was texting me five years ago. How can I, I can't do that. So this is the really awkward thing. I feel really bad about it. Um... I'm going to stalk him now just to see because they still, I think the last photo was from like December. Yeah, I've got him here. Yeah, November. Oh, I feel so bad on this girl. But like, it's such a hard line. Of, oh my God, no, wait. Oh no, they were a bro. 
because like, I refuse to believe she has any of the wise and I know it was so long ago that's why I can't really message her because it would be like babe why are you bringing up something from five years ago like we're fine but it does also make me think if he was doing that five years ago what would stop him from doing that now um, I might be very wrong he may have grown out of it who knows but what do you guys think in terms of messaging the girl I can understand where people come from that like you, someone needs to know like they need to know that but then also I can understand the whole thing of like not meddling in somebody else's business um it's so difficult but oh, so I feel like I'm always gonna have that on my conscience now which isn't very nice and maybe 15 year old Misha should have actually just plucked up the courage and messaged the girl um but they could have still be together they could have not been still together who blooming knows it's such an awkward line like i wish that was less complex that was me being the side chick without even realizing that i was the side chick i feel like that is majority i feel like i'm in the other woman that film um where there's lots of different girls and they don't even know about each other um, but I just don't understand. Especially, like, you could make that mistake once and start messaging someone. I mean, you shouldn't even do that, but twice. He'd obviously done this at least twice because I knew about somebody else. Um, so I hope said person has learnt their lesson. They are not going to be watching this video, not in a million years. But I'm sending positive vibes that them and their girlfriend work things out and they are happy together forever but he is a little bit of a douchebag, to say the least. Um, and yeah, again, the same thing. If you're getting red flags, try and listen to them. I feel like I'm actually getting better at that now. Not that I even have anyone to get red flags over, but you know what I mean. Um, but like, I don't know. I feel like I've, I've wised up a little bit in the last bit of time. This is my thing. Like, I don't want to settle and just be in a relationship for the sake of it. So I'm like, I'm looking for someone that is the one because, but then again, also I'm kind of like, <laughs> I need more drama so I can have more story times, but hopefully not. It'd be nice to be able to do a boyfriend tag one day in the next 100 years. I feel like that video is just gonna be like, oof. But then what if I have that and then my boyfriend cheats on me or we break up or we don't work out. This is my thing. That's another question I have for you guys. What do you think about people putting their relationship online? Because I've always said that I very much think I am that person that would want to put it. Um, but that is quite short sighted in the fact of like, then everyone knows the ins and outs of your relationship. It's a little bit more complicated because it's public. And also if it doesn't work out, you've then got all of that online, which is a bit awks. But let me know your thoughts. Because I really can't decide. But I mean, I'd need to obviously have a boyfriend in which to do this with. And also they would need to want to be on the channel. But I'm not sure I could be with someone that didn't want to be on the channel. I don't know. Anyway, that's a completely different storyline. So yeah, let me know any of your side chick experiences. Obviously mine was quite light-hearted per se. Because I never actually met up with them. I never dated them. I never kissed them. I never slept with them. I was only 15. So that definitely was not in my world of thoughts. Um... But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Was I in the right not messaging the girl because I was so young or should I have done it? Who knows? Um, bit crappy, but I suppose we live and we learn. And yeah, boys suck. Actually suck. I'm sure girls suck too, but obviously I don't have the same experience because I've never dated a girl. But I'm going to wrap up this story time. I've blabbered on for long enough. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this story time sofa session. And the next story time is actually going to be on my birthday, which is on Tuesday. Could I go on about it anymore? No, I couldn't. And that is going to be a birthday related story time. And it's probably one of my best yet. So stay tuned, make sure this video like and subscribe and comment down below with any of your experiences. And yeah, let's not do side chicking. Let's just do one chick at a time. No cross contamination, sounds a bit wrong. But please, can we all just, just make life easier. If you wanna not have a monogamy, monog monog monogamy, is that when you're with one person? If you want the opposite of that, then make that person known. You get me? Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Toodle pip, love you guys lots, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!